Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna create up a website in only five minutes. Yes, you heard me right, in five minutes. So let's get started now. So this uh, disclaimer: this video might take more than five minutes because I'm gonna explain all the tools. So please be patient. But after watching this video, I'm pretty sure that you will be able to create a website in only five minutes. And reduce the volume because I'm gonna shout in middle. Boom! Let's get started now. So you will have to create up an index.html file and open your boilerplate okay before that i need to change this Django html which is happening a lot in vs code nowadays to html only and then open my boilerplate i'm gonna change this to travely that's what i'm gonna name travel to your destination yep that sounds good so we're gonna use a few CDNs and we're not gonna use bootstrap for this one. Let's get started with that too. So Tailwind CSS is one. So you can, all you have to do is the first link, tailwindcss.com and copy paste. So get go to the get started option and scroll at the down and use using Tailwind CSS via CDN copy this link i see there's a lot of things cut down but don't worry you get a fully responsive website working on every screen that you want or uh, not inside the body guys i'm sorry about that i don't know what's wrong with me but you will get your website for sure so you can th create any themed website i'm going to create a travel dot uh, com website but you can always create uh, any theme website Next, we're gonna go to tail blocks. This is also amazing thing. So I'm gonna show you in this video. I'm gonna give you the technique. Theme is yours. How to make it is yours. You're gonna get to you make it in five minutes. But so here you have like pre-made themes with all code. All you have to do is change the text and create your website in just five minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep scrolling down, and I'm gonna reach till this header, and I'm gonna create select the second one. But they have a lot of choices to select from. And I'm gonna click on view code, copy the clipboard. So next, I'm gonna go to my body and paste my code and change all these to whatever I want. So here I can just write travely and here I can write home. Oh my God. Yeah, that works. So after writing home, it can be an about us and then our third one can be our blog i'm gonna just do a blog our blog and the last one would be nothing but your contact obviously every website has that most probably here you can just add href links so where it should take you and all that but i'm not gonna do that for now so here in this A, you can just change this SVG to uh, IMG, that is an image, or keep it an SVG and change the sources so that it becomes your file. Next, we're going to go to the button and change its text. So in my case, I'm creating a travel website, so it's going to be book now, right? So that is how a navbar will be looking. Let's open this thing up. So, website in five minutes, index.html. But before opening, I'm also going to save this thing up so that it looks good. So, this is how it's looking. But when I reload it, because I saved it late, it's going to look like this. A book now button and with all the hover effect done for us. And even this thing works most probably. Okay, so now let's go to our hero section or also the home section, which is just below your hero. Now, there are a lot of things to do, like a lot of themes, but I'm going to go with the first one. looks really pretty good. Okay, you can click on preview to see how it looks. Copy the clipboard. And before pasting that, I'd like, to, I'd like you to go to our source again. This is called Source Unsplash. What is Unsplash? It is, is it, it's a website that allows you to create, uh, give you free HD images. You can use it for images in your website. I'm going to paste this and go back to Unsplash, the first link, source.unsplash.com. All the links used are given below in the description to check out. Here, we are going to scroll a bit down because it's a bit down. Okay, random search term. This is what we are looking for. 
and we're gonna copy this one and we're gonna go to a new bar paste that up and okay I'll show this to you well all you have to see is go back to your studio code that was uh, and here just at the last is this div image and there's a source given to this image so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste a new source there and I'm gonna change its size to 720 now how did I change its like how did I got to know its size is it'll be written here okay we need to reload this one yep so there will be a dummy image here with the size written and all you have to do is copy that and paste up here but here I'm gonna, gonna write nature and water here you have to write what type of image you want so I want a travel image and I give two parameters so I'm gonna write travel and hotels and all that is uh, everything I need and I'm gonna save this outside and reload it and you will see a new image every time you refresh or reload I'm gonna refresh again and I'll see a new image so that is something good so that was the home page now let's go to the about a section so for about a section you can use a statistic like how many people used you or how many people have come to you or you can use a team section you can give the main people or you can give our team their pictures are there too or anything you want I'm gonna just take this long team thing it's gonna be really big so I'm not changing a lot of text now because it will take a lot of time now but you can obviously do that your website will be ready all you need is changing images and text yep so after finishing that I can go back to my website and refresh it and I get another source so here see you have the size 84 by 84 90 by 90 80 by 80 so different size different picture next we need a blog section which I believe is up so you have like a lot of things you have call to actions e-commerce website features of your website steps on how to download or book things up a contact section that we'll be using far away and a blog section too so you have this blog section which you can use a main image one and I know I already taught you how you can get this image so you see uh, the size is given here what's this this one please yeah 720 to 400 721 to 401 so the size is also given already and all you have to go is go to Unsplash and put that link in the source and change the size according to your requirement. Change the size according to your requirement and change everything you want. So let's let's just check. We will need a block so I'm not going to go with the images because I will have to show you the images too. But I want to finish this upside as soon. And... I'm just gonna paste that one to save this and refresh so one more section done and you are just seeing right it's it's not even taking hardly a minute to finish a section so think about if you'll be doing it on your own and not taking my help like over here I'm doing a half the work and I'm explaining at the same time so it's, it's taking time but when you will be doing it alone it's not gonna take that much time save and we're done with our contact too so just for this so let me just talk about a bit of things until it refreshes and I'm going to show you the final website. I'm going to show it to you now. So everything's done. You can connect this to an API called Forms Free, which I'll talk about in another video. So all you can do is also uh, let's go to preview. Change the color of like two things. So your buttons color is changed, whatever to you, what you want. You can see how it looks on different web pages and you can make it dark themed or light themed too. So here is our website completed. We're looking really good, really good. And if I inspect this to check if it is responsive, so you can see everything is responsive. Like super damage responsive works well and good on everything. And I can decrease the size so it, it, it takes its size. And so I've told you everything, guys, that you need to create this amazing website. 
one thing that I'm gonna do is to separate it like all the sections are really matching up so now you can skip this video because it's the end so what I'm gonna do is put a hedge R which is basically a line a long line between things between sections more specifically and yep that is all I'm gonna do oh missed it HR and enter so this these things are completely optional you can use your HTML skills it's not only copy paste as I told as I'm telling actually it's not only copy paste you can use your own skills I don't know why my HR is not working but anyways I'll put it like this too and I'm not gonna put it between header I'm gonna save this and come back and refresh it so our uh, line doesn't see here but yep here is the line so you can make this line small you can create a CSS file and make it look more good you can go to dark theme change colors and a lot of things you can do you can maybe put more images than more text like I did like more test text so all these links are down in the description to check out and send me your websites on the comment down post them for free and if you want to want a video on how to do that contact me and in the comment box so that's all for this video thanks for watching and boom keep beating up the code